Hello, friends. I have important news to share with you today. Many Americans can expect to receive a letter from the Internal Revenue Service very soon in regards to future relief checks. New details have been released on tax credits and monthly stimulus payments. Over 1 million low income households currently qualify for a one time $500 relief check. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for the complete details. To say thank you for joining me here every day, I'm giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards every week. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. During the months of October, November, and December, I will be giving away surprise $200 gift cards to many of you that have been in this community for several months. This is a simple way to say thank you so much for being here every day. Many taxpayers should check their mail for some good news very soon because starting this week, the Internal Revenue Service is sending letters to more than 9 million individuals and families who appear to qualify for a variety of key tax benefits, but did not claim them by filing a 2021 federal income tax return. Many individuals in this group may be eligible to claim some or all of the 2021 recovery rebate credit, the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, and many other tax credit. IRS Commissioner Chuck Redding announced in an official statement, the IRS wants to remind potentially eligible people that they may qualify for these valuable tax credits. Even if they are not required to file a tax return, they may still qualify for several important credits. We do not want people to overlook these tax credits and the letters will remind people of their potential eligibility. To help people claim these benefits, Without charge, the free file tool will remain open for an extra month this year until November 17, 2022. This tool enables people whose incomes are $73,000 or less to file a return online for free. Individuals whose incomes are below $12,500 and couples whose incomes are below $25,000 may be able to file a simple tax return to claim the 2021 Recovery Rebate Credit, which covers any stimulus payment amounts from 2021 that they may have missed and the child tax credit. So in an effort to help families fight inflation, New York State Governor Kathy Hochul announced last month that New Yorkers would receive an average payment of $270 through the state tax credit program as part of the 2022 to 2023 New York State budget, all eligible New York taxpayers could receive a check for two different payments under the Empire State Child Credit and the Earned Income Credit. According to the governor and the state legislature, the payments will offer up to $475 million in tax relief for all of those who are eligible. Governor Kathy Hochul said in an official statement, with this relief package, we are making good on our commitment to helping hardworking New Yorkers through the nationwide affordability crisis. While the payments will come as a relief for many people, most of the state's nearly 20 million residents will not be eligible. Around 1.75 million low-income New Yorkers and families will be eligible for these payments. This program will put money back in the pockets of nearly 2 million New York families who are struggling just to make ends meet in the face of the crisis. So friends, please know that eligible taxpayers do not need to apply for this, do not need to apply since the state automatically sends out these payments. Friends, the keyword for this video is Monument Valley. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Monument Valley, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. Beginning this fall, about 3 million residents of Georgia 
can expect a check of $350 to arrive in their bank account. This is because Governor Brian Kemp has released up to $1.2 billion in crisis aid to send people funds to help deal with inflation. The checks will be sent to residents of Georgia who benefit from Medicaid. The money will be sent out automatically, but residents should update their information on a statewide website that manages health and welfare benefits. Despite nearly $3 billion in excess revenues, flowing back to taxpayers next month. Massachusetts residents are already urging more financial relief from lawmakers. Currently eligible residents can expect to receive a rebate that is 13% of their 2021 state income tax liability with the average amount about $530. Well, my awesome and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you, my dear friends, for joining me here every day when I post these videos, and I greatly appreciate all of you. I'll be announcing a winner for the $75 Walmart gift card and the $200 Walmart gift card in a video very soon. So please make sure you enter the keywords in the comment section below and do stay tuned for those videos. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Well, uh First, I want to thank Shelly for your amazing hard work on this. You talk about somebody that has patience and persistence and always doing it in a positive way. Uh, very, very grateful. This is a real offer. This is of substance and significance, what we're bringing forth today. And it's what people at home in Wyoming think of as infrastructure. It's, you know, roads with potholes that need to be fixed. Uh, it's uh, waterways that, and, and airports and ports that are clogged. You're worrying about flooding in different uh, water systems. We think about bridges that uh, are aging and what we can do to help those. And this is what President Biden talked with us about in the White House. This proposal is fully paid for, does not need to have any raises in taxes, and avoids the big threat to the economy right now, which is inflation. Inflation is the number one threat to our nation right now in our economy. And that's not just me saying it. It's Larry Summers, who was the, had a long piece in the Washington Post the other day talking about uh, inflation that is coming and coming faster and to a greater degree than he even thought. And it's because of all the additional spending that, that's going on uh, because of this additional uh, trillions of dollars going into the economy. So when we talk about this $700 billion or repurposing money, there is clearly money that should be spent in ways where the money has already been committed. It's not additional borrowing and additional spending. This is what we talked with the president about. Uh, this is what he has asked for from us. And this is something that can actually pass. What we're proposing today could pass in a bipartisan way. And kind of uh, the old nickname for Joe Biden is middle class Joe. This is something he would normally be for. And this is something that the middle class of America would say, yeah, this makes sense to us. Uh, on the other hand, you have uh, the Democrats demanding first $6 trillion and now $7 trillion uh, in spending for a whole lot of different things. So they may override the president on this, overrule him, and that's what I, my concerns are with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer uh, and what is basically socialism camouflaged as infrastructure, uh, which is the direction that they're heading with massive tax increases, which are going to hurt the economy, massive spending. If that's a direction that they want to go, they can try it. They're not going to have even a single Republican support for that approach. I would say to President Biden, this is something that will work. It will help the country. It will help us move forward. And we would very much recommend to you uh, accepting this, moving ahead with it, endorsing it, and getting this done for the best interest of our nation.